three runners running around a circular track can complete one revolution in two, four and 5.5 hours respectively. When will they meet at the starting point? So basically the question says that, say there is first runner, first runner, then there is some second runner and then there is a third runner. Let's say there is a third runner. So the first runner starts at, uh, I mean, it completes one revolution in two hours and then again in four hours and then six hours and then eight hours and then 10 hours and so on. So basically multiples of two are coming into picture. Similarly, the second one, this second guy was running this circular race is completing the first revolution in say four hours. Uh, I mean, it's given four hours and then again, he'll complete it in eight hours and then 12 hours and then 16 hours and then 20 hours and then 24 hours and so on and on. This third one here, this third one takes 5.5 hours. He's the slowest. So he completes it in 5.5 hours. He'll again complete it in double of 5.5. That is 11 hours. Then he'll again complete it in 16.5 hours and this will continue. So there will be a point, there will be a point or you can say there will be a time when they will together cross or they will together meet at the starting point. And we need to find what that common time is. Now, since we are talking about the multiples and we need the common timing, so we'll consider lowest common multiple in this given question. So let us try to find the LCM of the three given numbers. So two, four and 5.5. So we also have a decimal into picture. So basically we need to find the LCM of these three given numbers. Now let me rewrite this once again. So this becomes two upon one, four upon one and 5.5 is actually 11 upon two because 11 divided by two will give me 5.5. Now, if we are asked to find the LCM of these three fractions, so the LCM of these three fractions will be equal to LCM of the numerators that is two, four and 11 divided by HCF of the denominators one, one and two. So let us talk about the LCM first. We have two, four and 11 in the picture. 2 is already a prime number, 4, 4 can be written as 2 times 2 and 11 is again a prime. So the LCM becomes 2 times 2, maximum power of 2, we are pulling that out, times 11, that is 44. So this will be equal to 44 divided by HCF of 1, 1 and 2, actually 1 and 2. So HCF of 1 and 2 will be 1 itself. So this gives me 44 as my LCM of these three numbers. So this means that all the three runners, they will again meet at the starting point after 44 hours.